Glenn, thanks for that live report. An update now on a fire that caused significant damage to a building at American International College in Springfield last week. Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago joins us live in studio after speaking with the AIC president, Hubert Benitez. Daniel? Chris and Abby, Benitez tells me it is still too early to know what the full spectrum of damages are, but cleanup efforts have officially started. The fire that quickly consumed most of the second floor of Courtney Otis Hall, the Health and Science Building, has caused staff to make adjustments for the fall, just weeks away from the start of the semester. AIC president giving Western Mass News an update and sharing the latest on plans for classes for all students to still go on. Students will be holding their classes here on the AIC campus. We're doing creatively, creative scheduling. We are outfitting some of our existing classrooms to make them larger, accommodate larger size of classes. We're ready to do that. That will be ready by the time the students arrive in three or four weeks for the fall term. As it relates to the faculty, we are now outfitting a number of, of offices in one of our halls, so we are, we are, they are going to have a house to conduct their usual business with, with students and, and with the deans and with the program directors. Benitez tells us AIC is still addressing the, assessing the damages caused by the fire and they're planning to have cleaning crews, architects and engineers on site for the next few weeks so they can have a better understanding of how much fixing the entire building will cost. We ask whether they'll need to accept the help that's been offered by other colleges across Western Mass or not. We're considering all those options. First of all, we're very grateful for their offer to assist. We're trying to readjust our scheduling, and when needed and where needed, we are going to take up on some of those offers to help. AIC President Benitez also tells us that weekly communication emails are going out to faculty and students to inform them of any updates and that other relief efforts may be happening in the coming weeks. Reporting live in studio, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News.